In this video, we will show you how to create, run, and update the simple SmartFace app. First, log to SmartFace Cloud dashboard at cloud.smartface.io and access the development module, the Cloud IDE. On the Cloud IDE landing page, click on the New App Project button. We start with the project name. Please take care of the naming conversion. Only lowercase letters, numbers, underscores, and dashes are allowed. Optionally, we can clone a project from a repo. It makes it easy to start development with a ready-to-use project. And finally, we can make the project public or private. Once we click Create, the project details will be shown. Click on Open Project to launch the Cloud IDE. The Cloud IDE is run on a virtual Linux machine in the cloud, and right now, a brand new virtual machine is being prepared for your project. The project is automatically updated to the latest SmartFace engine at every launch, so you don't need to worry about product updates. Here, we have a fully functional terminal. We can use the standard Linux commands to manage the project. On the left side of the screen, we have the project tree. Here we have non-image assets. Here we have the project configuration folder. This is our main project configuration file. We can change the application name and other meta information. We can define plugins and keys here. We also set the application ID in this file. We can save this file either from the File menu or with the Ctrl plus S shortcut. Here we have the image assets. Simple operations can be done in the cloud with the basic image editor. Here we have the output folder for compiled project files. Here we have the plugins. And finally, we have the scripts folder for our code. Everything starts in the app.js with the global events, such as application underscore onstart. The onstart event references to index.js, the index of pages. In SmartFace, each page represents a screen in the app. On page 1, we have the main code. Let's see what the code does with the Run on Device feature. To see a project in action instantly, just click the Run on Device button and scan the QR code from the SmartFace app. Let's start with an iPhone. After scanning, it quickly downloads the app. Let's do the same for Android now. The app is initialized on each operating system. Let's try it. The app simply counts button presses. To update the app, you don't need to rescan the QR. Just use the update function in the iOS widget or Android notification. Let's change some code and see how updating works. We have our page and button defined here. We have the function representing the button press. Let's add an alert to it and see the update in the app. So when I press the button, the alert will be displayed first. As you can see, SmartFace uses standard JavaScript. Don't forget to save the file so the app can be updated. On the iPhone, swipe the status bar down from the SmartFace widget and press Update. It's instantly updated in a seamless manner. And on Android, press Update on the persistent SmartFace notification. And again, a very quick update. You can see the update apply on both devices. 
It's really quick and easy to start developing high-quality native apps with SmartFace Cloud.